Hi everyone. We're recording this for YouTube. So if you can just keep your um, audio muted and your video turned off, you won't be included in any of the recording. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, and thank you all for being here. Welcome back. Yay, welcome to our Tuesday night class. And we'll start in just a minute. I wanna give us another couple minutes for people to keep joining. So uh, just make yourselves comfortable. Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. This is Yoga Now's at home series and this is Power Down Yoga. My name is Susie Amendola and behind me is my model Josh Friedman, and my husband. Uh, thanks for being here. Today you're going to need um, a blanket, one or two pillows, and a bolster if you have one. If you don't have one you can use your pillows. Um, and make sure that you're in a comfortable space. So Find a little space for yourself and settle in. And we'll start in the practice of centering. So I'm gonna invite you to find a position to sit in. Um, if you're not comfortable sitting, you can always lie down for this practice. You have the option to sit in a chair or sit on the floor. So however you wanna get organized, we'll start in just a moment. So feel free to modify to any version of these poses that work for you. So as we go through them, if something doesn't feel right, you're welcome to sit it out or to do something else. So this is your practice. So you're invited to make it yours. Do what you need to, to support yourself. Once you find a comfortable position for centering, Begin to take several conscious, slow, deep breaths. Begin to shape the breaths as if to let the in-breath flow naturally into the out-breath and the out-breath flows naturally back into the in-breath. Seamlessly weaving the breaths together. And in doing so, begin to gather and collect yourself. Calling back any fragmented, any segmented pieces of yourself. Knowing that we leave pieces of ourselves in our struggles. So take this opportunity to gather yourself up, find your way back. and begin to feel yourself from the inside, allowing yourself to arrive. Arriving in this body, arriving in this moment. And begin to feel a sense of presence extending to all of the spaces of your own body. As if you're allowing your awareness to take up just a little bit more of your interior landscape. To feel yourself moving in and settling in.
Noticing any areas of stress or tension. Locating those areas. And let yourself become familiar with those patterns. Settling in close. See if you can let your breaths pass in, around, and through those patterns. As if you were using your breath to gently unwind them. To soften the patterns that are within your reach. The ones that you're willing to let go of. The ones that you're able to let go of. Anything you don't need anymore. And then allow yourself to settle with any tensions that linger. Settling with what remains. And establishing yourself in a practice of santosha, contentment. Content to rest in the spaces of your own body without the push or the pull of wanting things to be different. Surrendering to what is. Settling in. And for a moment, begin to breathe as if your whole body were breathing. As if you could send the breath into every fiber of your being, into every nook and cranny, every space, every cell. As if you could imagine your trillions of cells breathing. And now begin to focus and direct your attention to the tip of the nose. And working with the practice of centering as you let your awareness travel from the tip of the nose to the center of the mind and the center of the mind to the tip of the nose. Inhaling and exhaling smoothly and evenly. Letting your attention rest on the wave-like motions of breath as it comes and as it goes. As if you're riding that breath like a wave. <clears throat> when thoughts, feelings, or sensations find their way into the foreground of your awareness. Pause with them for a moment, <clears throat> witnessing, not labeling or judging, not analyzing or ruminating, and not getting lost in the drama. Just simply bearing witness and then letting your attention shift back to the breath and the nostrils. And 
And in this way, toggling between your awareness of breath and your awareness of thoughts and sensations arising and dissipating. Always returning to breath. This process of returning is the practice of centering. And centering sets the foundation for all of the other practices in yoga. Centering yourself with each breath. You may even say to yourself, as you breathe, internally without uttering a sound, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And as you gently prepare for the practice of postures, gently shifting that mantra to the words, we are breathing in together. We are breathing out together. We are breathing in together. We are breathing out together. As you let your Awareness, bless you, and your consciousness join with all of the others here today practicing with you. Feeling the breath that we all share. feeling the presence of others joining you in this practice. And as you begin to deepen the in-breath and lengthen the out-breath, let the gaze of the eyes fall open and downward. Let the gaze be half open and half closed, a kind of 50-50 gaze. And slowly, as you raise the gaze, stretch your legs out. If you're in the chair, you can just reach your feet out in front of you and start to roll your wrists and roll your ankles together. Rolling them one way and then the other. Maybe trying to roll your feet one way and your hands the other way. That might not be possible, but try it anyway. And then open the fingers and open the toes and squeeze the fingers and squeeze the toes. Open and squeeze and open and squeeze. One more time. And then slowly release and you can fold your legs back into a cross-legged position or you can sit kneeling, sit up on your chair. But change position so you feel comfortable. We'll do just a few more practices sitting. So as you place your hands on your lap, Slowly find the lift of your own spine as you breathe from the tail to the crown. Inhale. And as you exhale, let your chin come down towards your chest. Keep breathing as you notice the stretch in the back of the neck. Softening, deepening into the movement. Settling. Relaxing the shoulders and relaxing the neck. Observing how far down the spine you feel the stretch. And then with the next inhale, slowly lift the chin. And as you exhale, relax. Inhale up the spine and exhale, take the left ear to the left shoulder. 
And notice the stretch on the right side of the neck. Keep softening and breathing. Relaxing that right shoulder. You can even let your right hand drop down, softening even more. And then slowly, as you inhale, bring the head back, place the hand on the thigh, and relax. Inhale up the spine, exhale. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. Notice the stretch on the left side. Softening in and around the stretch as you breathe. Let your left hand drop down alongside the body and keep breathing. Relaxing that shoulder with intention. With the next in-breath, slowly come back to center. Place your hand on your lap and close your eyes and just notice. <clears throat> Settling for a moment. And then let your hands drop down alongside the body. And as they drop down, slowly lift your shoulders up next to your ears and squeeze them there. Hold the breath in and with a big sigh, let them drop. <sighs> squeeze them together in front of you. Inhale. And as you exhale, <sighs> and then squeeze them together behind you. Inhale. And as you exhale, <sighs> and then just slowly roll your shoulders in one direction. <clears throat> Notice your range of motion. And then roll your shoulders in the other direction. One way and then the other, just noticing, feeling your way through. And then placing your hands back on your lap, closing your eyes, and let yourself be still for a moment. Listening. Unwinding. Slowly take your right hand onto your left knee and your left hand onto the floor of the chair behind you. And as you begin to initiate a twist, start with the base of the spine and start to work yourself slowly up through the vertebra of the back, through the vertebra of the neck. And even the gaze of the eyes is going to look to the back corners. The shoulders relax, the belly softens, the mind is quiet, the face is relaxed. Breathing and softening. And then slowly, when you feel ready, unwind from the top downward and make your way onto the other side. Left hand to right knee, right hand to the floor of the chair. Twisting from the base of the spine slowly all the way up through the vertebra of the neck, even looking into the back corners as you breathe. Shoulders are relaxing, belly is softening, mind is quiet, face is relaxed. And when you feel ready to unwind, come out from the top downward. Take a couple of breaths and let yourself be still. Noticing. And here, coming on to all fours. And if you'd like to have some padding under your knees, grab your pillow and place it underneath your knees. Hands are on the floor, out in front of the body, a little bit further out than the shoulders. And then slowly start to lift the chin and the tail, arch the back and cat stretching, and then pull the chin and the tail down. Navel comes in toward the spine, towards the spine and rounding. And just find a rhythm back and forth that's uniquely yours. Sliding from one to the other effortlessly. And then coming back to neutral spine. And as you come back to neutral spine, take a pause and tuck your right foot straight back behind you, ball of the foot onto the floor. Holding and breathing. Find a pathway from the heel foot to the crown. And then slowly take your left shin out to the left and roll to your left side. Raise your right arm up towards the ceiling. It's this sunbird pose. Breath is moving. And then slowly, when you feel ready, swim your arm back to all fours. Come back and take a deep bow like a pranam. Come back up to all fours. Do a little cat stretching again. Find your way through it until you feel ready to practice on the opposite side. 
This time you'll step your right foot straight back, excuse me, your left foot straight back. And as you press from the left heel to the crown of the head, find a pathway and swing your opposite leg out. Your right shin comes out, rolling to your right side, raising your left hand in sunbird. Breath keeps moving, mind is quiet. There's a big pathway from the heart to the fingers. Softening anything you don't need anymore. Effortlessly holding, breathing. And when you feel ready, swim yourself back to all fours. Come back to a deep bow of pranam, just briefly. And then back up to all fours. And here as you tuck your toes, if you've got a wall in front of you, move away from it just a little bit. We're going to work with straight arm cobra to down dog. This is a version of swan series. As you tuck your toes and lift your knees, pressing with your hands and pressing from the hands to the tail as you come into a deeply bent knee down dog. Find that pathway from hands to tail, from sit bones to heels. And then slowly as you ease the knees to the floor, let the heart open through the arms. The chest opens to the wall in front of you. And then slowly when you feel ready, sliding back to a deeply bent knee down dog. Let yourself move back and forth between these two practices. Holding to the, in the positions that you feel like holding. So you decide how long you stay in each one. Maybe you're moving back and forth with ease and grace. Maybe you're holding each one. Paying attention. Breathing. Take your time. Once you feel complete, bring yourself down onto the floor and rest in a crocodile pose. <coughs> Folding the arms in front of you, letting the forehead rest on the floor, or turning the head to one side and letting your cheek rest. Heels fall open to the sides. Breath moves. As you lie on the stomach, the diaphragm muscle is challenged. It's the breathing muscle that's just above the navel and just below the ribs. It's responsible for drawing the breath into the gravity dependent part of the lungs. It determines how big the breath gets. And yet just lying here passively, breathing, helps to strengthen that muscle. <clears throat> See if you can sink in just a little bit more. And we'll work with versions of boat pose. We'll do a half boat version, taking the arms down alongside the body with the palms facing up. The fingers and the toes reaching to the wall behind you, the crown reaching to the wall in front of you. When you feel ready, raising the head, the chest, the right arm and the left leg. The head, the chest, the right arm and the left leg. And then slowly lower with an exhale breath. Once you lower, pause just a moment and then raising on the opposite side, head, chest, left arm and right leg. And then slowly lower. And practicing this from side to side on your own. Two more times. You can hold it if you feel like holding or you can flow in and flow out in your own rhythm.
once you complete, turn your head and let go of a big sigh through the mouth. Ah. The next time you take a big breath, imagine that your bones are sighing. Feel yourself giving in, letting go. The floor is holding you. The floor is supporting you. The body can relax. And the body does relax. When you feel ready, coming into position for full boat pose. So now with the forehead or the chin resting on the floor, fingers and toes reaching to the wall behind you, legs separated, crown reaching to the wall in front of you, slowly raising head, chest, both arms and both legs, coming up with an in-breath and lowering with an out-breath. We'll do it three times. And you can work with one, two, three breathing. So that when you come up the second time, you'll hold for two breaths. <clears throat> when you come up the third time, you can hold for three or more breaths. And if this pattern of breathing doesn't feel right, choose your own. Turning the head to the opposite side, letting out a big sigh. <sighs> and once again, the image of the bone sighing. Letting go. And when you feel ready, gently rolling onto your back. As you roll to your back, pause here for a moment, plant your feet on the floor. You may even want a pelvic tilt so that as you're exhaling, you're pressing your low back down. And as you're inhaling, you're releasing it. Almost like a wave, pressing and releasing. Finding a rhythm that's yours. opening up the conversation between the legs and the low back. And now gathering your knees into your chest if that feels comfortable, or just keeping your feet planted firmly on the floor. Place both feet back on the floor and this time drawing just the right knee in and as you squeeze the right knee into the chest, press the sole of the right foot up towards the ceiling, hold on to the leg. And as you hold on, stretch out the other leg, stretch that left leg out, reach out through the foot, reach up through the other foot. And then holding the outer right thigh with the right hand, putting the left hand on the floor. Start to open the right leg to the right. The left side of the body is opening left as a counterweight. <clears throat> and then slowly come back to center. Bring the knee into the chest and give it a squeeze. And here, as you hold on to the knee with the right hand, take the left hand out as a counterweight again. And this time, let the left side of the body open left while the right knee opens right. And then bringing the knee across the center line, taking a twist, grabbing it with the opposite hand. And you can move through this one or two more times, opening and twisting. So grabbing the knee with the opposite hand, opening 
and then coming across your center line and twisting. Once you complete, place both feet on the floor. Take a pause and rest. Just notice, let yourself be still. Draw the opposite knee in. This time the left knee comes in. Press the sole of the left foot to the ceiling. Hold on to the back of the knee and then slowly stretch the right leg out, reaching out through the right foot, stabilizing the right side as you place the right arm out onto the floor. And as you imagine the right side opening right, let the left knee open, the left leg open left, dividing the weight between the two sides. Slowly come back to center. Bend the knee, place both feet on the floor. Take a pause. This time draw the right knee in. Stretch that left leg out. And as you stretch the right arm out as a counterweight, open the right side right. Take the bent left knee open to the left and then bring it across the center line and take a twist. Practicing two more times on your own. Flow with your own breathing, with your own rhythm. Feel your way through. And as you come back, let yourself be still. Listening. Gently grabbing your bed pillow or your couch pillow or your bolster. Bringing it nearby will work with a bridge pose with a prop underneath the back of the pelvis. So whatever it is that you want to use, even a folded blanket, slowly lift the buttocks and draw that pillow or bolster or blanket underneath. And adjust it so that it feels okay to just rest there for a moment. Resting in this supported bridge pose. Settling with yourself. If you'd like to take your feet up towards the ceiling, you can press the feet towards the ceiling with the back of the pelvis resting on the pillow or the blanket. Just noticing the movement, the flow of blood and energy back towards the low back. and from the region of the low back towards the throat and thyroid and carotid arteries and even the brain. When you feel the need to come out, bend the knees and place the feet back on the floor. Lift the buttocks up, take the pillow out from underneath. And for a moment, let yourself pause and be still integrating the effects of practice to this point.
And now slowly transitioning to a practice of supported fish pose. So using that same pillow or two pillows under the back for a supported fish. So as you roll to one side and you come back up, you can use one or two pillows under the back of the body. If you're using a bed pillow, lay it long wise from the tail all the way to the crown, and maybe even adding a second pillow under the back of the head. Allow yourself to get comfortable here. So make some adjustments. Don't suffer. If it's not quite right, take the pillows out and just rest on your back. Here, with the arms extended out to the sides, begin to let your breath travel effortlessly from the heart to the fingers and the fingers to the heart. You're tracing a pathway. Like you're freeing up any stagnant energy that may have been left in or around the area of the heart. Any lingering emotions, fear or grief, jealousy or anger, anything you might be holding or harboring, any grievances, any resentments, anything you're willing to let go of. And it may be that you're not letting go completely, but maybe just bit by bit, maybe just a little piece of that resentment, a little piece of that grudge that you've been holding, a little piece of debris. Often if you pull on the right thread, a whole cloth unravels. And it's in that spaciousness around the heart that we find compassion the openness to understand someone else. The openness to understand ourselves. To take a compassionate view, a spacious view. This unwinding and unburdening opens us to compassion and understanding. waves of breath continue to wash away any debris. The exhale being cleansing, the inhale nourishing. There's a toning quality as you inhale, toning the heart. And now begin to make a transition. And we'll work with the practice of breathing, but we'll work with it in the relaxation pose. 
So as you roll to one side and come back up, position yourself, move your pillows and props around. Make a little nest for yourself so you can feel completely comfortable. <clears throat> Covering up with a blanket. If the winds have been bothering you at all, you can put a hat on your head. Sometimes that helps to sort of pacify the wind element to help bring the attention inward, to calm the mind and ultimately the body. The breathing practice that we'll use is a practice of breathing up and down the body, breathing to each one of the energy centers, also known as chakras. So here, as you take your awareness into the soles of the feet, begin to inhale from the soles of the feet to the pelvic floor and exhale from the pelvic floor to the soles of the feet. Inhaling up and exhaling back down. Practicing several times, smoothing out the breaths as you go. Now breathing from the soles of the feet to the bladder center and the bladder center to the soles of the feet. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Seamlessly weaving the breaths together. From the soles of the feet to the navel center and the navel center to the soles of the feet, inhaling up and exhaling back down. From the soles of the feet to the heart center, the heart center to the soles of the feet. the soles of the feet to the throat center and the throat center to the soles of the feet. Inhaling up and exhaling back down. The soles of the feet to the eyebrow center and the eyebrow center to the soles of the feet. The soles of the feet to the crown of the head. The crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Letting that wave of breath wash over the whole body several times. And let your awareness land in the soles of the feet. Now relaxing at a deeper level, mentally relaxing. Relaxing the soles of the feet and the toes. The tops of the feet and the ankles. Lower legs and knees. 
upper legs and hip joints relax. Letting the legs and the feet power down. Just like you would power down one of your electronics. Knowing that when you restart, there's a new kind of order. Things just work better. Powering down all 10 fingers and the hands. Wrists and lower arms. Elbows and upper arms. And the joints of the shoulders. Relax. Arms and hands powering down. Begin to find your awareness now in the pelvic floor. Resting the pelvic floor and the buttocks. Resting the abdomen. And powering down the abdominal organs. Powering down the navel and the stomach. All the organs of digestion and assimilation. Relax. Resting the diaphragm, the rib cage and the muscles between the ribs, the lungs. The heart powering down. Deeply resting the throat and the pit of the throat. Sending awareness into the base of the spine. And as you send your awareness up through the center of the spine, powering down the spine and all the nerves that surround the spine. <coughs> the muscles loosen their grip and their hold over the bones. <coughs> and the back side of the body spreads out. Relaxing the back of the neck and the base of the skull. Hinges of the jaw, the chin and the lips. Relax. Tongue settling limply the bottom of the mouth, resting the gums, the throat and the pit of the throat, cheeks and nose, eyes and eyelids, eyebrows and space between the eyebrows. Relaxing deep into the center of the mind, powering down the mind. Letting the mind rest. Resting the forehead and the temples. Resting the ears and the scalp. Relax. 
relaxing the crown of the head. And with your awareness there at the crown of the head, powering down the whole body all at once and all together, moving into a deep state of sleep. Yet the mind stays awake and alert, present and conscious, and deeply relaxed. Notice as the body and the mind organize around the subtle qualities of breath. You may even begin to feel yourself as breath, as if losing the edges and boundaries of body. Or more fluid and spacious version of yourself. As if to feel your awareness expanding, reaching out, connecting your own consciousness to the consciousness of everything living and breathing as if there were no separation, but almost a kind of merging into oneness. As if there were no separation between self and other, only one consciousness, a kind of universal consciousness. Letting yourself rest in a more spacious version of yourself. Letting yourself rest in a vast and spacious awareness. And it's here that you may sense that you are awareness. It's here that you may sense that you are love.
gradually begin to allow your awareness to rise up to the surface. Like you're waking up from a deep sleep. Part of your awareness still lingers in that interior space. While part of your awareness begins opening to your exterior space. as if to feel yourself both vast and specific at the same time, as vast as the universe, as specific as a single cell inside of your own body. When you feel ready, cupping your hands and bringing your cupped hands over your eyes, just using the pads of your fingers to massage your scalp, using the pads to massage the scalp. And now needed more than ever, giving yourself a big hug as you reach the arms around yourself. If you're holding your shoulders, squeezing with a big in-breath and a big out-breath. <sighs> Feeling your own embrace. And when you feel ready, releasing that and rolling onto one side. Finding your way to sitting and sitting for a moment up on your chair and a pillow. This month at Yoga Now, we've been working with a very specific, we're working with very specific mudras. And the mudra that we're working with this week is called the Mandala Mudra. And it's one of the few mudras that bring both energy to and balances all of the chakras, the wheels of energy. It also balances the bayous, the energy currents, and all of the elements and the doshas. So mandala mudra also helps to stimulate whole body breathing, fosters health in the entire body and all systems. And it brings about feelings of unity within oneself and connection to others in the world. So it's a very important mudra right now. So to practice, Place your left hand on your lap, open, and your right hand rests on top. And then slowly bring your thumbs into a big circle, like a big O. This is the wheel, the mandala that you're making, this big wheel. The, the thumbs just barely touch, almost like you have a silk thread or a strand of hair that you're holding between them. And then as you close the eyes, breathe slowly, smoothly, and deeply. And the affirmation that goes with this mudra is this. I am whole and complete exactly as I am. You can say it with me. I am whole and complete Exactly, exactly as, as I, I am. am. One more time. I am whole and complete exactly as I am. Saying it internally without uttering a sound. Repeating it. And I wanted to end with a sankalpa, which is an intention. This is an intention that I heard this morning when I tuned into Dr. Ananda in India. And he's doing this with all of his students in his ashram in India. And as you bring your palms up towards your forehead, 
the affirmation goes like this. From our collective powers of peace, let us win over COVID-19. From our collective powers of peace, let us win over COVID-19. From our collective powers of peace, let us win over COVID-19. And as you drop the hands back down, keep the eyes closed. Let that sankalpa move into the spaces of your mind. Let the power of that mantra resonate. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, and only peace. Namaste. Thank you all for being here. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah. Those of you who would like to turn your video on and your microphone on and say hello, I'd love to see you. Thank you for coming. Hmm. Hey, Natalie. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Happy to be. Good to see you. See you too. Hey, Deborah. No, oh, no, is that you, Diana? Hi, Diana. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Sylvan. Hey, Jay. Hey, man. Hi, guys. Thanks for being on. Thank you, Susie. It's so mm. nice to be with all of you. It was lovely. Hey, Katie. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Good to see everyone. <laughs> I'm Sandy. Hi. Wow, it's so nice that you guys all joined. Yay. Thanks for being on. Um, what's happening for everybody? Winter. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I know. Isn't it crazy? You said wear a hat, so I put my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it to warm up again. <laughs> I know. I think it's going to happen this weekend. That's good. You've got nothing but time to work in the yard. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you all joined. Mm. What else has been happening? Anything? Mm. No? Mm. It's, it was 80 degrees here today, so I feel certain you'll have some nice weather soon. That would be awesome. 80 is almost pushing that edge of getting to be too warm, isn't it? It was shocking. Yeah. My yeah. house is not 80 degrees, but outside it's lovely. Yeah. That's unusual for San Francisco. You guys don't usually get 80 degree days. No, it shouldn't be, but you know. Yeah. A lot of things shouldn't be. <laughs> things are changing rapidly. Yeah. Gosh, it's so nice to see all your faces. I agree. It's nice to see all of you. Yeah been a quite a month. I think a lot of us were kind of hoping like, oh, we'll just be in a month. It's not looking like that anymore. <laughs> no. no. Longer. Another month or two. Oh, Celan, your microphone is off. Let me unmute you. It sounds like things are getting crazy in Grand Island. 
What's happening there? We were providing solutions to Bergen from Grand Island today. I say that again. What happened? Their 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 hospitals are their hospitals full, and so they were providing mm -hmm. patients to some patients to Bergen today, is what I heard. Wow. Oh. Why Bergen and not the Med Center? Uh, Space maybe. CHI system. The, the hospital in Grand Island is part of the CHI system. CHI, got it. Is it wow. from the? I heard it was a lot from the packing plants that are out in the middle of Nebraska. Is that? Did you hear that? That's the deal in Grand Island. They're part of it. Yeah. I'm wow. super sorry to hear that. So I think we got a few weeks. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. Hate people so much. It's hard, you know. It's really. Um, yeah. It's good for his birthday today, and we met in a parking lot in a grocery store parking. <laughs> cars up next to each other and like talk through the wind, you know, six yeah. feet. Yeah, you know, I hadn't seen her in a month. That was weird. You know? Oh, man. No. I haven't seen my son in probably six weeks. Yeah, I haven't seen my coworkers in about a month. I've been working from home for about a month, so it's, it's rough. Hard. Well, your coworkers sort of become your family too. I mean, it's like they're your kind of lifeline. We were talking today, um, I was talking to my family today and I was just saying how easy it is to forget what time it is or what day it is or what week it is. Or it's very, the, it really makes you realize the construct of time is so, um, it's such a man-made construct, you know, we just aren't. So we're just, I'm not connected to what day it is or what time it is or none of that. My sleep schedule is crazy. Um, Trey, my husband, was he's like, you just stay up much later than you wouldn't ever stay up normally. <laughs> I'm usually go to sleep very early, get up early, and I'm still going, I'm just going to sleep earlier or later, way later. He's like, I can't watch any movies without you <laughs> or do anything without you. I was like, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're encroaching on his space movie yeah space. he's a horror movie fan and i'm not so uh we only have one tv in our house i'm kind of anti-tv <laughs> so he's like come on go to bed <laughs> i know daisy our 17 year old she's like going to bed at like two in the morning and getting up at like 11 you know she just and because normally she'd be going to Central at 6.30 in the morning and we'd be getting up with her at 6.30 and now it's like so different. It's really weird. Yep. I know Trey, he was uh, laid off last week. Um, and so he's been like, he slept, he slept almost like noon today and he came to bed just a cup, like maybe an hour after me and I was like, you must have needed it. He was like, I can't, he's like, I woke up at nine and all of a sudden it's noon. I said, I know I wasn't going to wake you up. <laughs> What kind of work did he do or does he um, do? He worked for Toast, um, the restaurant point of sale system. So basically with um, the restaurant industry not making any money, their mm. company was just hemorrhaging money and they laid off 50% of the company indefinitely. So mm. even wow. after when this is all over with, he won't be going back um, because they really did it to save the company. They don't know what's going to happen or how quickly the restaurant industry will bounce back. I know. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. Awful. But I'm glad um, I'm still working. Um, I work for Ford Credit full time. And so uh, we're actually doing really well and just had a meeting with our CEO and they have no plans to lay off with Ford Credit, at least. I don't know about Ford Motor. So. Wow. You'll have a job. I mean, you yes. have <laughs> Yes. Wow. I've, I've been very, very, very busy. So this is really nice. I got to oh. tune in more. Yeah, I'm so glad you came, Natalie. That's Me awesome. too. I'm so excited to see all of you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Plus, your space is so beautiful, Susie. I'm just so, I love your little area. Well, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, please. My house. Yeah, I felt like all these years, I never had my own little dedicated space. So it's so nice to have that now. Yeah. Well, thanks again. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and we'll see each other soon. Yay.
Bye. 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 Bye, Susie. Thank you. Thank you all so much. It's great to see everyone. Miss you all. Bye-bye. Me too. Bye.